At the start of the menstrual cycle, a cohort of follicles starts to grow, but generally only one continues to develop. This follicle is referred to as the dominant follicle. In its interior, the follicle contains an immature oocyte. This follicle increases in size by 1 to 2 millimeters per day. The follicle produces estrogen and causes the lining of the uterus, the endometrium, to thicken. Around day 12 to 14 of the cycle, the follicle has grown to the size of about 21 millimeters. The rupture of the follicle ensues, which is called ovulation, and the mature ovule is released. The fallopian tube's fimbri move towards the ovary and catch the oocyte that stays near the ampullary zone of the tube, waiting to be fertilized. If sexual intercourse occurs, the semen deposited in the vagina starts its ascension into the tube and the sperm eventually arrive at the oocyte. One of these will succeed in penetrating into the interior of the oocyte. One day following fertilization, a cell with two nuclei is observed, at which point in time it is called an embryo and it begins to divide itself. Two days after fertilization, the embryo is made up of two to four cells and moves along the tube in the direction of the uterus. At the end of four days, the embryo continues to divide itself, at which point it is called the morula, and the interior of the embryo has an area filled with liquid, and this is called the blastocyst. The blastocyst migrates to the uterus and sheds the surrounding membrane, process of hatching, and the embryo begins to implant in the endometrium of the uterus.